and you definitely do not want to miss the next presentation. So, as Pilar said, our CEO, I'm honored to bring up Jay Flores to talk to you a little bit about what he's done. So let's give him a round of applause. Hi everybody, like uh, Stephanie said, my name is Jay Flores. I am a senior at the University of Wisconsin-Madison studying mechanical engineering. Um, Bilal asked you earlier if you all wanted to go to college and I was excited to see that every single person stood up. But I also want to know one more thing. How many of you will be the first person in your family to graduate from college? Please stand up and please stand up proud. Awesome. So, congratulations to all of you. So this May, I will be graduating with a degree in mechanical engineering. I'll be the first male in the Flores family to graduate from college, and I'll be the first engineer on either side of my family. And uh, <laughs> I want to share a few things with you guys about how I got there and all of that, a few lessons that I learned along the way. So a short story, when I was uh, growing up, uh, my dad brought me out into the yard one day, and he asked me to move this giant pile of sand that we had in our yard. And he wanted me to move it from one side of the yard to the other side of the yard. I didn't really ask any questions, I just took the shovel and the wheelbarrow, started shoveling the sand into the wheelbarrow, move it to the other side, dump it, go back. It took a few hours, I was tired, it was a lot of work. Um, when I finished, I went up to him, and it was kind of weird that it was in this random part of the yard, and I asked him why, did you ask me to move the sand there? And, and I'm done. And he smiled and he looked at me and said, you don't want to do the hard work that you just did now for a living. So take care of the hard work now and get your college degree. And that, you know, changed my life. And I really, from that point on, strived to do everything that I needed to do so that one day I could be successful and I could get my college degree. Um, not every student gets to hear something like that. And that's why I want to share that story with you guys. And I want to show you that, yes, college is hard. Yes, I struggled in my math and science classes. But life would be so much harder if I wouldn't have gone through the struggles that I've gone through to get to where I am today. Life without a college degree is not fun. You know, the first couple of years after high school might be a little fun until you realize that there's not really anything you can do to get to where you really wanted to go, to get all the things that Bilad mentioned earlier that will make your life a little happier. You know, money isn't everything, but it's nice to, to be comfortable. And I want to show you that even if you're not super interested in math and science, I, I personally do not like math, but I noticed that it was important to get to the cool things that I wanted to do. So if you want to design the next Dodge Viper, or if you want to work on a NASA spaceship, Taking care of that is just a small step into like a really fun, amazing career where you can do whatever you want. So as Bilal mentioned, at the age of 19, I was able to join the National Board of Directors. And I had never been a chapter president of SHIP. Um, I was never one of the regional student representatives, but because I was really motivated and I was really passionate about what we were doing, and I had a few skills, they would recognize me for that and nominated me to that position. So for the last three years, I'm 22 now, I've been able to work with people like Bilad. I've had role models that work at awesome companies like Lockheed Martin, like NASA, like the Navy, General Motors, that work on awesome projects every day. That has really helped me get to where I want to go. And I can say today that I can do whatever I want from now on, because once I get that college degree and the experiences that I've had, infinite doors have opened. And I want to help every single one of you guys reach your dream, whatever that may be, whether it's to become a, an astronaut, a NASA scientist, to work, even at General Mills. General Mills needs engineers, they make cereals. So there's engineers needed everywhere. I, I never thought about that. Um, and I want to show you guys that, that this organization that shipped, that the things that you guys are doing right now, are going to make you be able to do even things greater than what I've done. Um, because I wasn't exposed to SHIP until, until college. So imagine what you guys could do by taking the right steps now. I mean, the, the, you know, the opportunities are endless. 
And the cool thing is that, you know, this room is full of, of students that you guys are going to support each other along the way. To the chaperones, thank you for, for bringing the students here to have them exposed to this kind of opportunity. But at the convention center right now, there's over 2,400 students like me that are on their way to getting their, uh, their college degree, either undergraduate or graduate. And they are all here, and they want to help you guys get there too. So there's a small army over there that wants you guys all to succeed. And when you get to the university that you're gonna go to, you'll already have a support system. So if you come to the University of Wisconsin-Madison, I might not be there, but you can reach out to that chapter, and you guys will have the support system that you need to get to where you wanna go. So continue to be involved with the things that you're doing. Continue to show up to these types of events. Take the time to put in a little extra study time, because it's gonna pay off, and I guarantee it. I was able to get through college right now, I'll be done in May, without paying a single cent. Because in high school, I took the time to really work hard, to get the good grades, and uh, Rockwell Automation gave me a scholarship for my full tuition for five years. Additional applications um, for other scholarships, I got additional monies from other companies. So I'm technically getting paid to go to college. We need you guys out there. And there's opportunities for you to get everything paid for. And along with the, the, the financial support that I got, Rock Automation also offered me internship opportunities. So the summer of my freshman year, I was already out in industry finding out what it's all about, working on real projects with engineers that were 20, 30 years older than me, but had faith in, in my abilities and allowed me to, to have that experience. And they're paid. So as a freshman in, in, in college, I was making more than double what uh, my friends that were working at Foot Locker or whatever were doing. And uh, I had a couple other internships. I also worked for General Electric Healthcare. And uh, this past, at the beginning of the month of September, I accepted a full-time job offer at Rockwell Automation. And all because when I was in high school, I started taking those steps to be where I needed to be when I won at this point. So I didn't envision myself right here in front of all of you guys. This wasn't exactly my plan, but I knew that I wanted to do something great. So challenge yourselves to do something awesome no matter what it is. I read a letter that I wrote to myself when I was young in, in elementary school. Our teacher made us write a letter about what we wanted to be in 2010. And my parents gave it to me, so they had like a date that they were supposed to give it. I wanted to be, and I, you know, I was excited to open it. I wanted to see, oh, I probably wrote like engineer or scientist or something. What I wrote down was I wanted to be a wrestler. <laughs> and I was like, what? This doesn't make any sense. And I started reading it, and what I did get out of it is that I wrote down like every championship belt that I wanted to get. So although, you know, I'm not a wrestler today, I knew that I wanted to be the champion. I wanted to do something great with my life. And although it wasn't wrestling and it became engineering, making that vision from the time that you're young of doing something awesome um, is gonna help you guys along the way. And SHIP is here to help you. The 2,400 undergraduate and graduate students are here to help you. The companies and your teachers and all the sponsors are here to help you. So. Make that dream, talk to us about it, and we'll see what we can do to help you get there. Thank you very much, and I hope that you guys will all join me here one day and do awesome things. Thanks. Let's give him another round of applause. He truly is a role model, and he truly is here to help. When I found out about SHIP, the SHIP Foundation, we walk our talk, so with that, I just want to set some more expectations for all of you. 